So the excitement of today is we're going over to Empire Truck Service to see what the progress is on the truck and maybe capture some video. And it's just a really nice day. So we don't want to sit up in the room. Yep, it's 68 degrees and sunny and very pleasant. So we'll wander around about, uh, go visit the truck first, make sure it's okay. <laughs> Yeah, because we, we heard yesterday it may be done today. Um, we'll see. They're going to tear some stuff apart or do some more testing. or I don't know. I, the, the, guy, the guy knows what he's doing. So we're going to let him do his thing. And we're going to do our thing. Which is bother him. <laughs> Well, it's just full of, it's like the, it's like the inside, it's like a radiator on the inside. Right? Correct. It's all yeah, it's, got, it's got exhaust cool going through, it. it's got exhaust going through it, and you got regular coolant in there. What is that? It's coolant. Coolant, okay. That's what we spew all over the highways. <laughs> yeah, then with the white stuff coming out of the tailpipe, that's that. That's okay. Right now. Right now, I just put some, some good tape over there. So, so now you're using the vacuum to mm -hmm. suck it up. So what, the point of doing a vacuum fill is it gets all the air out of the system. Oh, okay, Instead of sure. just dumping it and dumping it up in there. Turn the air back out. Yeah. Start it up, let it burp out, and then turn it down, and you're like, oh, my coolant's low again. Use the coolant, give it a false sense of it. Okay, cool, right. Because once the thermostat opens up, it allows more coolant to burp and the air out, and let it cool, cool level. You know, you fill it up full, right about that.
had a gloss, this would be all green. It'll turn them bright, it'll turn green. The miracles of modern chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> so Chad, we, it's good news, right? So far, so good, yes. Okay. So uh, to, uh, change the oil. Oil, oil filter. Plug into it, uh, put it through a region, and if all goes good, you'll be good to go. Good, awesome. We'll go start packing up the hotel room. Ah, uh, just yeah, don't do that. You can't do that too soon. <laughs> I don't want to do it. It's like I won't see all my tools all in this. They'll stay like that until I know it's done. done. You know, I put all my tools up, put them all back where they go, cleaned up. And something goes wrong multiple times. That's why it's a superstition. Just don't stay dirty and messy like that until I know. Once it's done and complete, ready to go, I'll pick everything back up. So let us know when your toolbox is clean, and then we're good. Yeah. <laughs> I just said, just call us to put my tools away. Yeah. So uh, you said you do want to just keep us in the Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Passive regen is mm -hmm. why you're going down the road. It does it on its own. Right. So with the, just using the exhaust flow and the, the internal heat of the engine, mm -hmm. it'll go. Then you have an active regen. Okay. So while you're driving, the engine will start ejecting fuel and exhaust, bring the temperatures up hotter, burn all that stuff out. It's like when you come to a stop and you get come to a stop and a little bit of exhaust temp light comes on. Right. Instead of the active in the region. Okay. Just going down the road. It may not be long, it's just gonna do it just to clean it, get all the temperature. And you got the station region. In your car, that light will be that light, the region light will come on, that's when you will push the button. Now you got different warning stages too. So right. if you ignore that button, you it's gonna ignore do it. On it's it won't let you push the button. Okay. The only okay. way it does it on its own is when you drop. Okay. So the light will come on, the filter light will come on. Or push the button, and that'll do the same. So it'll be a silent light. If you ignore it, then it'll start flashing. And if you still ignore it, it'll throw a check engine light, a flash check engine light. And if you keep ignoring it, it'll throw a stop engine light and de de it to five miles per hour, and then you get to bring it to a shop. I think if you look at the manual, it's now like 250 to get it to at least get it clean. Mm -hmm. If you have issues, if you don't have issues, just drive it to it. Just keep on driving. Don't lose. Yeah, just get to it. That's like the old 64 in Pella. Just drive it to the <laughs> That's before my time. Oh, get out of here. Oh, oh, oh get out of here. You never saw one of those? <laughs> this is what we're not doing over here. Those are two cylinder heads for this truck. We're not getting that done. Yay. Yay. So we're getting just the EGR. Waiting for your truck to get out of the hospital? Waiting for my, re yeah, my repair to truck. <laughs> Anxious to get on the road. Very excited. Okay. And a little scared. <laughs> It'll be okay. We'll be okay. All right. All right. Pretty soon we're going to see the truck. Waiting is not my strong suit. No. Well, this is what disappointed looks like. Uh, we went to Empire Truck, picked the truck up, and... Knew something was up because they didn't give it to us right away. It wasn't ready. Even though the guy said it was ready when we called him. Um, he said he went out and started the truck and the light came on, which means it got a bad knock sensor. And that's the knock sensor that they replaced yesterday. And now that today is Saturday, nobody has the part. Nobody's open Sunday. They'll get it in Monday. And when they get it in Monday, then they'll put it in, but they're talking about it's not coming until Monday afternoon, which means we're going to be stuck here till Tuesday, which means we're not going to make where we're supposed to go by that following weekend. So, still stuck in Slide L, still, uh, still here, truck still broke. Um, good thing we didn't do have to do a cylinder head, it was just the EGR cooler. Bad thing is the knock sensor, which the EGR cooler probably took out. 
is uh, not available. You just can't get the part. So we'll have to wait till Monday. And I kind of doubt we're going to get it Monday because the one that we got came from New Orleans and they only have one in New Orleans. So I don't know. I don't know what to say. But back here in the Slide of Elks, thank God we have some place to go. And uh, we're out of the hotel room. But we're stuck here for another two days. And uh, that sucks. So, end of story there. Thank you.